Hello everyone, my name is Ian. Welcome back to my hobby YouTube channel in brief book and film reviews. I haven't been online uh, for the last couple of weeks because I have been far too busy enjoying myself soaking up the sun on the beaches and relaxing around work to um, be coming online and doing um, book and film reviews. So if you miss me, I apologize, but uh, I'm sure you haven't been in neither watching book and film reviews because you're probably being out enjoying this good weather yourself also. So today I'm going to be talking to you about a book I just finished reading there not so long ago um, called Jerry the Monk Hutch. Um, I won't elaborate on the full title um, because it's alleged and the writer is, uh, the author is uh, Paul Williams. He is a crime a journalist. Uh, this book was uh, published last year in October 2020 on the Atlantic Publishers and is roughly 352 pages long. I think you can actually get this book uh, free on Google Books and you can get it in shops online and you can get it in Easton, so I think as low as uh, 10.99. So uh, before I go into the book, um, I just want to give a brief uh, explanation as to who Paul Williams, the author, is writing about. Jerry Hutch, a.k.a. The Monk, is a man who is um, from the inner city of Dublin who was brought up around Buckingham Street um, and Sheriff Street. In very um in what is uh, what is known as very difficult times, uh, um as a, as a as a kid growing up, who uh, Paul states within the book that he would have had a pretty tough upbringing, and came from an area that was pretty deprived in terms of um, you know uh, job uh, job positions you know and um you know, you know career path into jobs and stuff like that, um. The book, in my opinion, is um, just before I give the opinion about the uh, book itself and what I've taken from the book, I would just like to say in regards to the publisher, Paul Williams. Uh, Paul Williams it comes from a background of Angadi Shikon. Um, I think members of his family were uh, guards and I, I don't know if he got into the guards or didn't get into the guards, but he became a journalist and he is... Um, you know, as a journalist, has uh, attempts have been made at his life um, um, by organised cr uh, crime members uh, in in response to his um, coverage and um, basically um, following people and that in in you know in the, in in the um, criminal underworld. So, uh, what would I take Paul Williams's word as gospel? Absolutely not. You know, even a title itself, uh, I'll let you read the title itself. Uh, I'm not going to say it. It says to me that um, when a man is on, uh, Jerry, Jerry Hutch is actually, I understand, is not in Ireland at the moment. He is, um, he's away. I think um, even on the run, it is an, I think, an international uh, arrest warrant out from or a European arrest warrant out from at the moment. So it's easy for someone to come along and say that, you know, why this man can't defend himself and he's had um, a lot of a lot to deal with in terms of members of his family being killed, um, shot and um, in, you know, gang, gangland or alleged gangland uh, wars and criminal activities. He's now uh, not living in Ireland and is seen as being on the run. It's easy for a journalist to come out and say, oh, by the way, this man did this crime and this man murdered that person and this man did this. So would I believe in what Paul is saying in, in the book, his gospel? 100% no, I wouldn't. But I do believe it's worth a read um, for various reasons. Um, just to get an insight into uh, Jerry's upbringing and just to get an insight into other people who are alleged to be involved in uh, criminal activity. Um, just just to get an insight into uh, the undergoings and the work of the CAB Criminal Assets Bureau, and um, I, I I think as a, as a, as an author as a writer I think um Paul shows his immaturity, 
uh, and he also shows his bias towards um, what's right and what's wrong according to him and his eyes and stuff you know um, I won't I don't have time to go into um, what I mean by that uh, because I'm trying to keep it brief but you'll see when you read a book if you read a book about the uh, high and mighty attitude and uh, the disregard for even people who are, could be criminals or you know uh, disregard for their lives in, in favor of uh, what you know justification you know uh, and I think this uh, I honestly believe I think there's a bit of anarchism uh, uh, about the um the writing within the book and that you know and that's my that's my opinion but like I said um there's got to be an element of truth in there um because of the um the information gathered you know you can't get that amount in other words it's too it's too fictitious if it was complete fiction it's too fictitious to be to to not have some sort of element of truth in it is what i'm trying to say so um yeah um the book it, it goes into great detail it gives great reference into certain people you know it talks about certain uh, people who uh I'll give you an instance um uh, uh jeffrey innes who um passed away there a couple of years ago um uh, and it gives reference to other people as well um, that are alleged to be involved in and were involved in criminal activity with uh, Jerry Hutch. Um, it is a it's a good read to get information from, but like I said, all in all, I find it for the fact that uh, a guy cannot defend himself. Um, and when when he's when there's an international or or, or a European arrest warrant out from in term uh, you know in regards to um a shooting a shooting incidents um and he can't defend himself against these alleged um incidents and crimes uh, and and they're very serious like that um, there's more there that I talked about and how the guards had never acted upon them before um it just it, it's very it's very hard to see uh what's really kind of what is real and what's not but there's definitely elements in there you'd say you know that would be a pass or i, I would, would believe that all in all i think it's worth a read um just for the fact if you can see the different just this the see the um the culture that we have in Ireland of, of um you know, between uh, organized crime and members of Angadi, Shikona, journalism and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I, I would say that it's worth the read, uh, most definitely. Um, my, f I would say my favorite part in this book would probably be at the start when he's given reference to, you know, certain, uh, certain things uh, in Dublin at certain times and areas. It's kind of reminiscence, you know, so I remember that, you know, um, I remember certain shops and certain areas, certain roads that are now named differently and stuff and that. And um, yeah, so there's, 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 there's definitely some, there's definitely um, bits in there that you would, you, you kind of, you take a lot from but in terms of having faith in the order to give the full whole story um i i just you have to read it just for even just for that just for that point to see you know you know can 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 a journalist get away with saying so much when a person is not you know hasn't been um, proven guilty you know it's there's there's something there you know that we have to answer us ask ourselves you know as as individuals as civilians as they call us that we have to ask you know there's something there so i think that's it's definitely worth a, a, a read i re just a bit of an irony there you know i remember when this was first released or it was gonna get released i think it was in the maybe july or something or august and that in certain cheeky monkey style uh, i think the pdf was passed around before the release date um on whatsapp you know uh, i remember getting uh, a couple of messages about it and uh, i just found it kind of funny um so that's it for today um 
Yeah, I don't like I, I I want to elaborate so much about elements of the book and that, but there really is no point going into it. But I would say that I, I would recommend that you, you know, you read it. If it's free on Google Books, I would definitely give it a read, you know. Um just for even entertainment pay purposes you know so um yeah that's it for today so thanks very much uh, for watching and i hope everyone's keeping well and we got a couple of days of rain here today uh, over the last couple of days so um we get a reprieve from the sun i suppose but it'd be nice to see the sun come back again and that you know so i hope everyone's staying well and staying blessed and uh have a fantastic day and uh, a week ahead all the best boy